the, I was in New York. Well, we're not gonna time. we're not gonna we're not gonna look at the news yet because I saw this thing on Twitter of Tucker. Literally, he's on his set, which makes me even more concerned. Like, how is this going? Tucker Carlson. There's almost a million views on this already. Wait, wait, wait. Did he drop this like as he got fired? He's 32, like, I gotta... <laughs> yeah, 32 <laughs> minutes. 32 minutes ago, it just says good evening, and I guess he filmed this on his way out before security came. <laughs> All right, okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta set the headphones first. Once again. I think I could play his daughter in something because I have like the Tucker thing, like you know, like the the scrunch, the scrunch thing. Oh, yeah, you do. I think I could play his daughter in something. Make it happen. Yeah, you got the you got the eyes for it too. I got the eyes for it. Come on, guys, cast me as Tucker Carlson's daughter. I don't care yeah. what what slant you're doing. Yeah, let's go it. for it. Let's right. do it. Anyway. All right. Here we go, guys. This is the answer we've all been waiting for. <laughs> I've heard I've heard 18,000 different theories on why he actually left. They're like, it was the vaccine in Kennedy. It was because he hates Bud Light. It was because Kid Rock invited him to fucking Maury Povich. <laughs> like, I don't know. But here we are. Okay. The answer from the mouth. Oh 32 God. minutes ago. I'm not ready are for we, this. I'm not ready for it either. Almost a million views this is already. This going to be so disappointing. This is the craziest thing No, this is his office. This is his office. I know, but like, I just... What is what's in the background? What's he going to say? What's in the background? We got to analyze what's in the back. Yeah, that's probably what it's really going on. Is it on. the Constitution? <laughs> that's some fucking math written on the bottom of it, yeah, though. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That's his contract for Fox. <laughs> 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 yeah, he did some Steven Crowder shit, but instead of like being disrespectful, he just hung it on the wall and he framed the fucking thing too. He was like, "This is this is how he fucking stole my soul for ten years, guys." Yeah, I gotta know. It's probably some boring, like some scripture. Yeah, it's like <laughs> God said, "Have children every day." All right. Anyway, here we go. Ready? Tucker Carlson, greatest video clip we will ever see. Okay. The thing we've all been waiting for. Bigger than the Super Bowl. Bigger than Joe Rogan. Okay. Bigger than the butthole of Muhammad Ali. Here we go. What? <laughs> One of the first things you realize when you step outside the noise for a few days is how many genuinely nice people there are in this country. Kind and decent people. People who yeah. really care hmm. about what's true. And a he's in bunch Florida. of hilarious people also. A lot like of us. It's got to be the majority of the population. Yeah, hey, we're now. really funny. So that's heartening. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the other thing you notice when you take a little time off is how unbelievably stupid most of the debates you see on television are. <laughs> They're completely irrelevant. Yeah. They mean nothing. What? Five years, you won't even remember that we had them. <laughs> oh. Someone who's participated. <laughs> and yet at the same Roasted time, his own show. this is the amazing thing. The undeniably big topics, the ones that will define our future, get virtually no discussion at all. Oh, yeah. Civil liberties, Ooh. emerging science, Ooh. demographic change, mm. corporate power, mm. natural resources. Mm. When was the last time you heard a legitimate debate about any of those issues? Mm. It's been a long time. Debates like that are not permitted in American media. Both political parties and their donors have reached consensus on what benefits them, and they actively collude to shut down any conversation about it. Mm. Suddenly, the United States looks very much like a one-party state. The advertisers. Mm. That's a depressing advertising. realization, but it's not permanent. Our current orthodoxies won't last. Mm. They're brain dead. Nobody actually believes them. <laughs> Hardly anyone's life is improved by them. <laughs> this moment is too inherently ridiculous to continue. <laughs> it won't. The people in charge know this. That's why they're hysterical and aggressive. They're afraid. <laughs> They've given up persuasion. They're resorting to force. But it won't work. When honest people say what's true, calmly and without embarrassment, they become powerful. At the same time, the liars who've been trying to silence them shrink, and they become weaker. That's the iron law of the universe. True things prevail. Where can you still find Americans saying true things? There aren't many places left, but there are some, and that's enough. As long as you can hear the words, there is hope. See you soon. That was weird. <laughs> where's, where's, where's that going? Where's that going? <laughs> that was he was like, the thing. news is suck. It's dead. Suck the news. Suck debates. Suck this country. But there's still some good people out there. I'll find them for you guys. Also, I, I love how you started that thing being like, the first thing I realized when I took a break, dude, you've had two days off. <laughs> <laughs> Two days off. You're like, let me tell you about taking a break from the news. <laughs>
No, but honestly, do you think how, two how, days how, off? And he's Alex, like, I fucking I figured it all out, guys. Do, do you do you understand how his life was ruled by that though? Probably every single waking moment Probably. of his life, and then all of a sudden he like gets out and he steps out in Florida like we did for Christmas in Florida, yeah. and he's like, what? What the is fuck? This world, it's like Wizard of Oz. Yeah. <laughs> Technicolor. It's Technicolor. Just, it's the, what what he's saying about the advertise like he got he kind of mushy mouth you can't really uh-huh. understand where, where he's going with it yeah but i think he's really talking about how advertisers dictate what programs see and hear and we heard a lot mm-hmm. about this with the whole stephen crowder thing with that with the ad reads yeah because with the ad reads it, it well, then turns into oh well you have to meet youtube's community guidelines mm-hmm. otherwise you will be punished yeah then you don't have creative control. But but think about it. It was kind of what we were talking about before we put him on. How I was saying, like, all of a sudden we're on these wars and, like, I don't know anything that's going on. Why are we in Sudan? Like, what is that? There's no debate for that. We have more debate about whether or not some person can go into a bathroom or not mm-hmm. or do a fucking drag show than actual war happening. Well, it's also... It's ridiculous. I don't care. Yeah. Like, I'm done. I don't care. I don't care. Go in whatever when bathroom he, you want. Do whatever you want. I don't care. But we need to talk about war here. And no one's debating it on any platform. No, no one's saying, hey, I don't agree with it. it. Nobody wants to talk, talk about, about it. it. They're just like... It's and, just whatever. Well, because I listened... To, I was watching this, the 100th episode of South Park last night. Whoa. Alex watches a lot what of What a South doozy Park that himself. was, though, to rehear. It's all about how half of America, right after 9-11, wanted to get in the war. Mm. you got to all be patriots and carry the flag. Mm. And how the other half of America was anti-gun. Mm. And how they both scream at each other, but no one really knew what was going on. And mm. at the end of the episode, they basically were like, we built a country so that you, you can protest the government while the government goes and does wars. <laughs> That's the point. Yeah, Because then it looks like we're not doing it. Elaine, do you want to go underneath? She's, the, she's distracting. She wants to go at war with this. Do you want to go under? Yeah. Is that what you want? Do you want to go underneath? Yeah, she Is that what you want? Underneath. Yeah, she was like, yeah. I just want to get. She just out. wants to get. If you're watching, you just got to see the dog go to go to sleep. That was her. <laughs> she is uh, going to sleep, and she wanted to let us all know that. So we get to like be completely interrupted by the podcast so that our dog can go to bed at 8 p.m. Well, she was just starting to dig uncontrollably, oh, I and I think she wanted to go underneath the blanket. Oh, uh, no, no disrespect to you. I was just saying the dog stole the entire show. The dog stole the show. <laughs> she was just like, ah. Her thing. Yeah, exactly. But, 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 uh, but that's the thing. Like I, I, I agree. I agree to that point. I feel like there's so many things that that are happening that are so much larger that are not being debated or talked about and then but yet we'll have like right. the, the but there's a reason the politics talked about when in the end of the day like come on like there's war i think war is bigger than any of that that is life or death well and war like war's a target market too people mm. war's a target market too like that's what's weird too people are like oh i got to talk about bitches can you stop can you stop elaine Please, calm it's down. It's time to go to sleep. Thank you. All right, thank you. You're comfortable, right? Because I have to talk about Andrew Tate right now. Why? 